Hi guys, let's set up the uh, let's use the ubiquity power beam to set up a uh, uh, point to point link, uh, a transparent bridge real quickly. So you've got the ubiquity power beam, and by default, it has an IP address of 192.168.1.20. So what you need to do is to make sure that the IP address on your system is on the same subnet. Okay, so you come over here and then set the IP address on your system to that subnet. I already have mine set to 1.19, so we'll be logging on to 1.20 real quick. We have two of these radios, so we need to set them up for point to point. One of them should be, should be set up as AP, the other is going to be set up as station. So once you type in the URL 192.168.1.20, the next thing you need to do is to type in the default username and password. The default username and password for UBT is UBNT, and you choose your country. You agree to terms and conditions and you click on login. We are here. So we are going to go to the wireless tab where we will be setting up the point to point link. So, you'll be clicking on wireless mode, you set it to access point. This should be enabled, wireless WDS, okay? And you set your SSID. Okay? The country has been chosen. If you don't, if you are not using this country, you choose the country you want to use. You choose your channel with this. I'm leaving it at 20. At 40, sorry. 40 is good for short distance point to point links. But if your link is going to be over a very long distance, then you might want to use 20 or 10. The frequency set to auto for this demonstration, I'm going to be using 5775. And then you're done. If I want to set my security key, I will click here and I will set the security key. If I want to hide the SSID, I will click here and I'll have the SSID hidden. Okay, so I'm done here. So I'm just going to click on a change. And of course, I need to change the password. UBNT, which is the default, and I have to set a new password. Then after that, you click on change, and then you click on uh, apply. Now we we'll move over to the second radio to have it configured as a, a station. Here we are on the second radio. We are going to log in using the default UBNT. UBNT. And make sure the country you've chosen here is the same with the one for, on the AP. You agree to terms and conditions and you log in. So the first thing I need to do here is to change the IP address on this one real quick because the other one, the AP, is a 1.20 so I need to change this one to 1.21 okay so you click on network and right here I will just change this IP to 1.21 real quick okay and I'll change click on change and it's going to ask me to change this default uh, password Of course, it's telling me that the password is weak. It's just for demonstration purpose. In real life, I will use a very long password. Now we are logged back in at 1.21. We're logged back into 1.21. So we we'll proceed. Okay, UBNT. And of course, our new password. So we need to come over to the wireless tab 
here we are going to make sure that this this uh, particular uh, radio is set to station and we enable WDS region over here we don't we're not going to do anything because we'll be scanning but we can just put SSID since we already know it okay this is the SSID on the station that we are putting here so that it can connect automatically the country should be the same as what you have on the AP the channel which should be the same we had 40 there so here is going to be 20 or 40 because we don't have 40 so 20 or 40 we do it's going to connect to that one because it's 40 so the next thing we need to do is you know either you're going to set up your security profile or not but because we didn't set any security on the AP so we don't want to bother doing that so if you've done this you just click on change and apply your, your, your change as you can see, we are connected to the AP, and the signal is uh, minus 4 by minus uh, 7. So now that we are connected, we need to do a speed test real quick to see the capacity of our link to see if it's really good enough. Over here, to this, we will click on speed test, and then we we'll put the IP address of the AP we are connected to, which is 192.168.1.20. That's where we are connected. I will put the username UBMT and type in the password. And I can click on the options here. Instead of doing duplex, I can say I need to check the download first. Click on run test. You can see that on the download we are doing above 150 mbps 140 this is the lan and this is the wireless now we need to do for the upload so back here again speed test 192.167.1.20 and the uh, uvnt and our password and we can come over here and say we need to do the transmit So on the upload, the link is pushing up to 152 Mbps. That's good, and uh, that's how quick and easy it is, guys, to set up your point-to-point -point link or transparent lead file. Thanks for watching, and please look out for more videos by subscribing to this blog, this channel rather, and also visit my blog at www.timigate.com. Stay safe.